Hello, this is Matt Watts. I love animating in Toon Boom Harmony. And today I want to show you a little trick that I learned when you're working with envelope deformers. So here's my princess, and I drew this sketch. I need to trace the sketch with the deformers. So to get the deformers to show up, you just click on this little show select a deformer button. And then I'm going to trace the dress. Um, and note that I'm using the transform mode and the animate the current key frame, current frame. All right, it's a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to turn that sketch off. Now you can see this kind of fractally junk going on. The drawing is breaking with the deformer, so we need to adjust it. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the dress. You need to make sure that you are selected on the drawing and then you click on this really awesome button convert to new drawing and add deformation chain and in case you don't have this button let me show you how to get it so you just need to right click on the deformation toolbar and go to customize sometimes when this is docked in the camera window it doesn't work so you have to dock it to the main toolbar then you can customize it and you just need to make sure that you have this convert to new drawing and add deformation chain button. And then hit apply. Okay. And now I'm going to, sh I'm going to dock it back over here. And now I'll show you what the button does. Now what that does is it creates an additional deformation chain for you and it is associated with a new drawing. The thing is with that drawing you have that junk sitting there. So what I want to do is I want to delete that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the polyline tool and I'm going to draw dress using the Bezier points as reference that are visible on the deformers and if you use the contour editor the white arrow and you hold alt you can convert those anchor points to smooth or corners. All right, cool. That's looking good. I'm going to get my paint bucket tool. All right, we've got that done now. So let me show you how cool this is, what we've been able to, to get from that. So I'm going to collapse the timeline with zero. I'm going to press plus to add some exposure. I'm going to hit Control K, Command K on a Mac, and that will give me motion keyframes. And now it interpolates perfectly, except here we can see some of the, the deformer breaking. So to fix that, we can jump into the timeline, and go to the cooked drawing, and slide that into the middle somewhere between the interpolation. So now it's perfect. And I'm going to copy this frame because right now from here on it's one. I'm going to paste the, the cooked drawing there. All right. So before I knew about that button, I used to create a brand new separate deformation chain every time I had that problem come up. And, and the problem with creating lots of deformation chains is that they don't interpolate between each other. But when you use these chains that are related and created this way, they can tween and give you that nice, smooth advantage that you get from using deformers with your animation. So thanks for watching today. I hope to see you again.